Yeah, I'm just a guy. We're all a work in progress. A lot of men just don't want to reach out for help. They think, oh, you can ask a guy how they have it going. They go, I'm all right. I actually like, almost took my own life. There's not really too many safe places, not many accepting places for guys just to hang out and be themselves. I actually tried to take my life twice. I'm JD from BraveBlokes.tv, where we're making masculinity and men's lives meaningful. Through our media productions, we're helping tackle the big issues facing us as men today, addressing the tough questions no one wants to ask, and unmasking the stories we all need to hear that are keeping men alive and seeing men thrive. So we turn to the community to find out what is it that makes men's groups meaningful? Part of the white papers for the Men's Health Strategy 2020-2030 for the Australian Government is about um, empowering men. Empowering men by allowing them to choose their direction, giving them the space to actually make that decision. I found there was lots of issues in the, uh, in the community. Uh, with men, there's lots of male suicide, you know, guys that I knew from when I was a kid, uh, farmers, that type of thing. A lot of men just don't want to reach out for help because they, they, they think, oh, you can ask a guy how they're going. They go, I'm all right. Two key challenges, I guess. Uh, which would, I would have related to at the time, and obviously dads do now, and that is the isolation of facing something so extreme by yourself, and also the hopelessness that comes from facing a system that, that makes it feel like it's, it's completely impossible to be treated fairly or uh, justly. Many men are brought up with traditional male values of being silent and strong and self-reliant and stoic. That pathway through life, which typically involves being educated, finding a job, finding someone, forming a family, and for men that means, you know, being the provider, the protector. Uh, okay, how's this? Look? Most go into any department store. Where's the where's the guy section? All the way up the back. <laughs> the men stuff. It's always pushed to the back. I think that's a bit like men, men's health. It's just sort of pushed to the back. It's in the background. We're not really talking about it. You know what I've just learned from you, from you blokes is what we need is it in a in a guy's way, in a bloke's way, not some uniform prescribed way that's going to work for everyone. That's going to work yeah, for and, that, and that's the thing. Like that's mm. what the the men's health strategy, the Australian government's white paper they put out says it needs to be a blokey way. I think every bloke um, needs social support and they need a tribe of some sort. I guess what we're doing in one sense is providing these men a new tribe that will accept them and won't judge them and that they can trust instantly because we're a tribe of men who've all been through the same thing. We get it. There's no need to explain it to us. No, we don't want to be managed, but just be not being told what to do. We want to, be, we want to make the choice for ourselves and we want to lead, live our lives the way we want to live our lives, not the way we're told to live our lives. It's the sense of belonging when you ask about the uniqueness in the groups. It's a sense of belonging that we have as a group, which is extraordinary. We give them a sense of belonging. Uh, and in fact, they, they build a sense of hope as well, because when they see people like myself who have hit rock bottom and yet now have good lives. Create a sense of belonging and create better mateship. There's no judgment, there's no thoughts of you know someone being below you because we actually realize that we're all guys trying to figure our way through life no judgment and uh, and certainly no rescuing fixing or problem solving it's challenged by uh, by choice you know it's just a matter of, of you know turning up for the first time there and actually realizing this isn't too bad guys would park, car, park their car two k's away and walk in so no one would see them it's about creating connection inspiring people just to be part of the community sometimes it's it's another bloke who's untrained but is old and grizzled and has been through it that they can trust and that might be the difference between being here and not being here so are you telling me that all it is is mates meeting other mates where they're at. Yeah. Not trying to fix them and all that sort of shit. It's just, where are you now? There's only one thing they will trust, and that's another person exactly like them. I'm just a guy. Aaron Schultz is my name. I'm just a dad of teenage kids. My name's John Morgan. I'm Pete Nichols. Yeah, I'm just a guy.